Pain management is a key responsibility many nurses manage for their patients, and as a nursing student, it's important to be able to identify the different types of pain as well as a solid pain assessment. Acute pain is temporary pain that can last from one minute up to six months. This involves the fight or flight response, so you may see the vital signs reflect this, and this resolves as tissue heals. Examples of this are breaking a bone, appendicitis, and labor contractions. Chronic pain is pain that lasts longer than six months. This involves the peripheral nervous system, aka the rest and digest response, so important to know that the vital signs can be completely normal and the patient still be in pain. And this is pain that is still present after the tissue has healed. This includes pain types such as nociceptive, which is pain caused by damaged tissue, neuropathic from damaged nerve cells, and idiopathic, where the originating cause is simply unknown. To have an effective pain assessment, think OPQRST. You want to ask the patient the onset, when it began, the provoking factors, such as what makes it start and what makes it stop, quality, what it feels like, like burning, stabbing, crushing, etc. Radiation if the pain spreads anywhere, severity, how intense it is, and this is where your pain scales come in, and time, how long does it last, and is it continuous? And important to note that the patient's self-report of pain is always the most reliable indicator. If the patient is effectively able to communicate their pain levels, it is so important to not let our own biases and beliefs affect our own perception of pain to best help our patients. This is also why effective communication is key. Let me know if you found this helpful and check out the full study sheet in the Nursing School Success Bundle.